What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and I'm here in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil and I'm going to look for the best views of the city. So I'm here in Rio de Janeiro. It's now my third or fourth time in the city and I've shot a lot of different locations but what I haven't done is shot the big, you know, iconic viewpoints in the city. So that's what this episode is about. I have a couple clients looking for, for those types of images. So I'm gonna shoot just that. I'm gonna find three different locations um, within the city and I'm gonna shoot the hell out of them. I'm gonna try to get some iconic images from Rio de Janeiro and yeah, that's the goal of my three days here in the city. Let's go do it. So the first location I want to shoot here in Rio is that classic view um, from a location called Dona Marta, Mirante Dona Marta. Um, you can shoot there or you can shoot way up at Christ the Redeemer. It's just a different angle from Christ the Redeemer. You get kind of like all the islands and everything behind it. Um, from Dona Marta, you're a little bit closer, but a little bit lower. So it's a different angle, but still cool. Um, in general, I like to shoot the classic viewpoints first. That's where I like to take my first images when I arrive to a city to get that classic image, that iconic image. And the reason I do it first is I want to get it out of the way. I want to get the thought out of my mind so that every time I'm shooting, I'm not thinking about that iconic view. So that's going to be my first location here in Rio is that classic, iconic Rio view. So I didn't get the greatest light up there at Dona Marta viewpoint, but it was okay. And there was actually a blue moon out last night. So I think I got some kind of interesting images or at least different images to the classic um, Rio de Janeiro viewpoint images, which is cool. Today I'm hiking down um, now from my apartment up in the hills to, uh, to Sugarloaf Mountain, another iconic viewpoint here in Rio de Janeiro. So uh, I'm gonna go up there and shoot that today. Let's do it.
So last night up on Sugarloaf, I got decent light, but it's really hard shooting landscapes into light like that. We're basically shooting straight into the sunset. And ideally with mountain landscapes, you want to have the sun behind you. So even when the sun is set, you get uh, like this soft glowing light on the mountains. Um, otherwise shooting straight into the sunset, you've got a, a ton of backlight and it causes exposure problems and you end up shooting silhouettes. Um, anyways, today is my third and final shoot here in Rio and um, a plane is going overhead so I'm gonna wait. Hola. Hola. Anyways, today is my third and final shoot here in Rio, and it's probably the most important one um, because it's actually a, an assignment. It's an assignment from a newspaper back home. So uh, for an article in photography from, from Dos, or Two Brothers Mountain, Dois Irmãos, Irmãos, Dois Irmãos, I think in Portuguese. So that's the location today. I'm a little bit maybe concerned about it because it's up through a favela. You've actually got to hike through a favela to get there. And um, I've heard it's a safe favela or very tourist friendly favela. So it shouldn't be that bad. And I think it's a popular hike too. So there should be other people. What I'm a little bit nervous about is kind of being up there after dark and then hiking back in the dark. So I'll get a feel for it and then make a decision whether I should come back in the dark or, or earlier. So anyways, let's get hiking. So my bus leaving Botafogo was, uh, took a wrong way or there was a road closed and we had to go a wrong way. So it ended up taking like an hour and a half um, to get through. And then even then we only got to like the favela, which is the most infamous favela in, in Rio, which I can never pronounce, but I think it's called Roquino or something like that. Um, and so the bus ended up dropping us off there because the road was closed. And I had to hike all the way to the edge of this town along the waterfront and then eventually got here um, to the base of town and then at the base of town there was moto taxis, thank God, to take me about halfway up the hill through the favela, um, which cost three reals, so like a dollar. And now I've got the hike up to the viewpoint. It's already three, so hopefully I still get up there in time for good light. It's apparently an hour up the hill from here. Let's go. So I'm not sure if you can see me because my head torch is on and I'm either really bright or it's too dark because it's it's nighttime now. 
and I'm on my way down. If I can find the way, I'm on my way down back to the favela um, to get back to Botafogo. The light was cool tonight. I mean, it wasn't great, but it was like a cool location and we had nice soft light, which is always important. Um, yeah, and it, there was a ton of people up there. I went up on a Sunday on purpose. There's a reason I waited until Sunday because I figured there'd be lots of locals up there and I figured if there was locals up there, it would be safe. So I was dead right. And now that I've been up there, I know you could go up there uh, any time of day as a tourist. It's completely safe. That favela is quite nice and quite tourist friendly. And yeah, it was completely simple. And it was my favorite viewpoint. That was my favorite of all the viewpoints I went to see. It was absolutely stunning. It was a bit of a hike up there. It was quite tough, but the view is unbelievable up there. It's just perfect. And the way the sunset light hits it, it's just, it's the perfect spot for sunset. So I absolutely loved it. Had a great time up there and had a great time in Rio in general, shooting these three locations. As usual, every time I come to Rio, I feel like I could spend months here. I do. It's, it's one of my favorite cities in the world. Absolutely love it. And I can't wait to come back already. For now, I'm headed way north in Brazil. I'm headed to Recife, where I'm gonna be spending time in Olinda, which is the old town of Recife. And then from there, I'm going into the Amazon. Actually, I'm going to, to the beach first. I'm gonna go hit up some beach spots in the north of Brazil. And then I'm going to the Amazon. So lots of cool stuff still coming on the channel. Um, if I can find my way home, I'll see you next time. Peace.